I'm Troy with Adagio DJ Entertainment. A wedding is a one-of-a-kind event, and it, every wedding is unique, no matter what. And my favorite part is being able to kind of figure out how to make sure that everybody at that event has an amazing night. And how can I use the, the music to make sure that everyone feels invited and part of the event and welcome? And are there ways that I can make surprising connections with music to, to really get that wow moment or when, uh, when you get that yeah when you play a forgotten classic uh, is really one of the best parts about being a DJ is when you get to take the guests on a journey uh, throughout the event. Before every event, obviously, I go through, make sure I have all the music that the client needs, make sure that we have uh, all their special songs. And I, I love looking at their playlists and their genre preferences ahead of time and any additional comments they might have about different uh, theming for the event, things like that, because that gives me a lot to chew on as I'm kind of thinking about how, how I'd like the event to go in different directions that I think the crowd might want to go, and um, that's one of my favorite parts about it. The preparation for me, I've been doing this over 10 years now, and so I've developed a routine on the day of the event as far as getting up, getting ready, making sure that I've triple, quadruple checked, that I have all the right music, that I have everything ready to go, and I like to arrive a little earlier than, than some DJs because I like to make sure that I have time to kind of collect my thoughts once everything is set up and the sound check is complete so that I can really focus on the couple and the guests and when everything is set up a little earlier, I have time to kind of observe and see you know, what's, the, what's the vibe in the room. Is, it, is everybody in really high energy spirits or is this maybe it's a hotter day and people are outside? And so that kind of lets me know how to pace the evening and do we need to start off and really get everybody dancing right away or do we need to kind of ease into the night, make sure people uh, get a chance to go to the bar if that's what they need to do or kind of relax into the evening and then we'll we'll do kind of a slow build uh, to the end of the night and so that's it's kind of the way I approach events these days is getting there and giving myself time to really uh, get a feel for the room and then make my plan and see how we're gonna proceed through the event and make sure that everybody has a great time.